my dog uh, is uh, ha- has been doing my head in, okay? Because she, uh, <laughs> we've got her. He, I, I'll tell you what happened. So we adopted her, and she was very anxious. She came from a very bad breeder bad history. She was malnourished, neglected, all of that type of stuff. Uh, and we were kind of the perfect home for us because for her, because we work from home, all this kind of stuff. And um, we're, we're full of love, right? So we bring her in and uh, she started doing really, really well. Uh, but they told us she's scared of the dark. Uh, and we were like, oh, that's, that's no good, but no worries. We just won't leave her in a dark room and we'll only turn the lights off when it's time to go to sleep. And that was fine. Uh, and then one day we have cats Uh, and a laser pointer was played with. Now, I know this, but most people do not. You should never, ever play with a laser pointer with a dog. Uh, And you also kind of shouldn't with cats. Cats are more resistant to this, but you shouldn't really with cats because it's it's a thing they can't catch and that's frustrating. Uh, Or it can give them a a debilitating mental illness like I did my dog. Uh, But dogs, you should never, ever play with any type of lights or shadows with the dog because they get this thing that is literally called laser pointer syndrome. Uh, And if you show a dog, hey, look, lights and reflections and shadows are real living things that can chase you or react to you chasing them, it completely splits their fucking brain and changes how they view the world in a very negative way. And it gives them a mental illness called laser pointer syndrome, which she uh, got from literally one time where a laser pointer was played with, not even with her, she was in the room playing with the cats, right? Right. Uh, and once, and ever since then, she scans every room that she's in looking for shadows. She reacts to when the trees blow in the wind and the sun goes through them and the sun shines through the window and hits the floor and moves. She sees it and she runs away. And it was something that every time the more she saw it, the more she saw it. So it became this like vicious loop of after the laser pointer, she was like, oh fuck, I didn't know those things were real. And then she started seeing shadows everywhere. It's like she became some fucking paranoid schizophrenic thing where if I turned a light on, she would jump because the lights would change. She go, fuck, what did, what, what happened? What did that do? Every time, one time my, uh, I was walking down a hallway and I accidentally turned my phone torch on and because my arm was moving, the light went from the the wall to the floor to the wall to the roof and she fucking freaked out, almost fell over, had like this freakish panic attack of, oh my God, I just got attacked by this thing that I can't touch, that I can't scare away, that is always chasing me, that is always there. She would walk into a room and it didn't matter what she was doing, if she was relaxing, if she was eating food, she would look at the roof because uh, near the roof, there were shadows near all the lights. And it became this this thing that was like fucking destroying her quality of life. And the more she saw it, the more she saw it. And it got worse and worse and worse and worse until it got to a point where she stopped eating food because every time she was in a room, obviously, you know, lights and shadows and things going through the window and everything, she was too scared to eat food. And we tried rewarding her when she didn't do it. We tried minimizing shadows. We tried fucking everything. And when it got to a point where she wasn't eating food, I was like, for fuck's sake, take her to the vet. The vet goes, oh, it's a really common problem with dogs who have been played with laser pointers. It's laser pointer syndrome. And I go, I knew that, but not everyone does. Uh, And it happened to her. And uh, yeah, just fucking, it ruined my dog, man. She went from this like happy you know, kind of anxious sometimes dog because of her history into this like paranoid, like, fuck, they're out to get me. It's like she had paranoid schizophrenia, like, fuck, they're they're trying to get me. Like every time we walked into a room and I walked past the light, she'd be like, ah, what the fuck? She would like jump and always anxious and like always on high alert. And uh, she stopped eating food because she was so scared of the things that were always there, that were always chasing her, that was always going to get her. So we take her to the vet and they put her on fucking Prozac. And I was really on the fence about it. I was like, I don't know about fucking giving my dog pills, but then she stopped eating food. So I was like, oh fuck, I'll try it. And uh, it's at week two and she has just, she's been great. She's back to her normal self. She's not 
barking at things that she can't see. She's not running away. She's uh, she's almost stopped looking at the roof, and that's a huge thing that she would do all the fucking time is just constantly be staring at the roof. And, you know, even now she's, like, beautiful, sitting down, asleep on the floor. Um, she's great. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's just so much better. I'm very... Um, grateful and I, th I think also like just being around me I think made her anxiety worse because I, I was obviously going through fucking heaps for a long time when she got when she got adopted and everything um and uh yeah now she's she's happy which is great because before she just could not be in this room because obviously there's so many lights that that turn on and turn off and um everything like that uh but you know I just turned the light off and she just didn't react so it's it's great so, uh, I, you know, uh, seeing the reaction in her, I'm thinking about having, having a few. Do you, know what I, do you know what I mean? Put it, rub them in peanut butter. She eats them straight away like lollies. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it took her like two weeks and she's, she's, uh, not changed at all. She like, from what I mean, from before she got the syndrome, she's just like a normal dog. Now the normal dog that she was, it's like returned her to who she was. Um, I'm kind of thinking that, after a couple of months, maybe we'll take her off the Prozac and see, because maybe she just needed like a break from the fuck, the checking. Um, we might take her off after she's like been on it and been cured for a while and see how she reacts. Um, and if she gets worse, we'll put her back on it. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a, just a funny uh, thing that happened. Or well, not funny, because it's fucking horrible, but uh, I'm glad she's okay. So yeah, look, that... Uh, Never use a fucking laser pointer with your dog ever. Even if you have cats, never use one in the same room as any dog ever. Because literally, man, it was once. And when I saw it happening, I was like, hey, let's stop doing that. That's not good for a dog. Because I knew, because I've had dogs my whole life. Uh, and that, that's all it took. And it fucking destroyed her mental health. And it got worse and worse and worse and worse for like... I don't know, six months after that until she stopped eating food because she was so worried about reflections. 